Hey everyone, welcome to Craving Something Scary, where it's all horror, all the time. Now in this video, I'm going to discuss the news that we received yesterday that the Writers Union reached a tentative deal with the Hollywood Studios to end the WGA writer strike. Now, this does not impact the actors. So the SAG after strike is still ongoing. But with the writer strike coming to an end, it could be a catalyst to get things moving with the actor strike. Now, all eyes shift to the writers of movies, television shows, and limited streaming series on Netflix, Hulu, Apple, and of course, Amazon Prime, all the suspects. And for us as Scream fans, I'm now going to focus on how it impacts Scream 7. Let's go! Hey everyone, this is Christopher Landon, the director of Scream 7, and you're watching Craven Something Scary. So the first place I saw the news break was on APnews.com uh, on Sunday night. And it was very, 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 very exciting. Uh, and what we know right now is that the Writers Guild of America announced the deal Sunday in a joint statement with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. Uh, and that's the group that represents the studios, uh, as well as the streaming services and the production companies in negotiations. Now, the agreement must be approved by the Guild's board and members before the strike officially ends. That's why it's being called tentative, because it has to be official by vote. But that could happen this week, and it could, be, so it could totally be resolved by the end of this week with the voting taking place. So going on the assumption that it does indeed uh, you know, happen this week, what does that mean for Scream 7? Well, it means that the script and story for Scream 7 can finally be worked on and completed. And it means that Christopher Landon can finally get his hands on that script and make tweaks, edits, and improvements to what James and Guy wrote as a first draft of the script that I believe is probably already done. So it leaves me in my mind with three major questions that loom over the Scream 7 right now. And I'll break these down for you. So the first question is this, with the Strider Strike and when it wants it to become official, Will we get an announcement soon of who the writers will be on Scream 7? Now, I'm assuming, as I mentioned, that it is James Vanderbilt and Guy Busick once more. But I'm curious to see if we will see Christopher Landon added to the writing team officially as well. And the reason I bring that up again is because when I asked Christopher Landon, when I interviewed him last week, and if you haven't checked that out, be sure you watch that full interview on my channel. But I asked him last week about how important is it for him to have say and input on the script and story for his movies. And he said it was very critical that he have input on the script and storyline of the films that he directs. So he basically told us right then that he will be involved with this script for Scream 7. He even mentioned, even if it's uncredited as a writer, he'll, he'll, he will be involved. So <clears throat> we know that based on that, I think it's, it's safe to say he'll be involved. It's just a matter of like, is he writing the movie or is he gonna be just 
a, a voice on the script, you know, uh, which again, I'll take it. Whatever input Christopher gives, I will gladly take it. I think it'll only improve it. But um, we'll have to wait and see if we get the official announcement this week of the writers. Once this, once this become official, will we get an official announcement uh, and where we can see who the writers actually are for sure? So we'll wait and see. Now, the number two big, uh, big question for me that looms over Scream 7 is, will we see Christopher's good friend and writing partner, Michael Kennedy, or the iconic Kevin Williamson announced as co-writers? That's a, that's a big one. Uh, this is something that I'm paying very close attention to. I think Michael Kennedy being involved is a real possibility. I think it, though, is probably more like a 50-50 type scenario where it could go either way on equal odds. Uh, however, based on uh, Christopher's comments about Kevin Williamson in recent articles and even in my own interview with him last week, I am predicting that Christopher Landon and Kevin Williamson will both have input on the script and will help shape the story of Scream 7. I'm calling it right now, guys. Kevin Williamson will be stepping in as a voice in the writing room this time, and him and Christopher will both have uh, impact the story. They'll both have a say on the storyline. Yep, I'm going out there and I'm calling it now. And speaking of calling it now, I have a bold prediction for you guys, and that is this. I predict that Scream 7 will be the best sequel in the franchise that has been released after Scream 4. In other words, I believe having Christopher involved in the story and the script with the belief also that Kevin Williamson will have input on the script, whether credited or not. It will be the best written story of the current trilogy that we're in right now. I really believe it. I think that you can take it to the bank that we're going to see Scream 7 close out this trilogy as the strongest story of all three of the movies. And that will be refreshing to see um, you know, they have a proper trilogy ending and written really well on top of that. So, yeah, that's what I predict. We'll see. My prediction is there. I'm leaving it out there and I'm not backing down. Now, the third and final question on my mind right now is, will we get confirmation of a completed first draft Script for Scream 7. Now, this matters because, first of all, if the script has in fact not yet been written, then perhaps the writers have not been chosen. And in this scenario, it opens the door wide open for Christopher Landon to be the lead writer. And if this happens, I could easily see now Michael Kennedy stepping up as the co-writer or again Kevin Williamson co-writing Scream 7 which would be amazing to see but I think that's all in play if they don't have a confirmation of a first draft script so I think that that, that, that really could be the case uh, of what would happen now however if we do confirm or get confirmation that there is a first draft for the Scream 7 script, as I've been saying, I think there probably is. But if we get that, if we do get that confirmation, uh, then it confirms pretty much that James Vanderbilt and Guy Busick will indeed be the uh, the writers. They'll be the the uh, the, the key writers here. Um, and <clears throat> but however, I want to say this. I want to iterate something that even if that's the case 
if if James and Guy, uh, James and Guy do return as the writers with their script here, um, and we use their and they use their script for the story, Christopher Landon again has already stated, as I said earlier, how critical it is to him to have input on the script and story. So it's I don't see any scenario in which Scream Seven is not touched and impacted by Christopher Landon. I just don't see any scenario of that. I think that no matter what the case is, that he will be impacting this storyline, guys. So it makes me feel so much better knowing that Christopher is going to have direct input on what we see in the story. Now, in my mind, these are the three biggest questions that kind of loom over Scream 7 right now as we see the writer's strike coming to an end, hopefully this week officially. So stay tuned. I will keep you posted um, as we get the confirmation of that happening and also as we get answers, hopefully, to some of these three questions in the coming days once it is made official. All right, guys, listen. I want to know now, What do you think about these three questions I have? And what scenarios are you hoping to see unfold from a writing and script perspective for Scream 7? So start leaving your comments and your thoughts, ideas, and even your theories below right now in the comments section so that we can discuss it together. And I love reading your comments and your theories, guys. So please, fire away down below right now and and let me know what you're thinking. Well, that's going to be it for this update, but I'll be back soon with more Scream and other horror movie content. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Craving Something Scary, where it's all horror all the time. Thanks for watching.